We're here at the 2018 Puerto Rican Day Parade, the first Puerto Rican Day Parade since Hurricane Maria took 4,645 lives out in Puerto Rico where people lost power, people lost food, and people evidently lost their lives. Now, we are here celebrating Puerto Rican culture in 2018, and one of the things that celebrates Puerto Rican culture is the sport of boxing. New York City-born boxer Zachary Ochoa is preparing for his 20th career pro fight in his hometown of Brooklyn. The super lightweight comes from a Puerto Rican family and is knowledgeable about the island's storied boxing history. He has first-hand experience winning a 2015 bout in San Juan. I fought over there one time and it was amazing. The crowd, the, 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 the state, when you fight in Puerto Rico, the stadium and the Coliseum, the, the stadium shakes. And I never felt that before. It, it was a great, it's a great feeling. Is that one of your best pro experiences? Honestly, to me, is is one of my most electrifying uh, events I've ever been at. And I fought on Canelo cards and everything, but it wasn't even a huge card, and it was just the magnitude of everybody just shaking the stadium, screaming. People are screaming. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ochoa hopes that his upcoming experience is as electrifying. His next fight will mark his first time ever fighting on the weekend of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. I mean, it's a great feeling, you know, that um, I'm gonna be fighting on Puerto Rican Day for a weekend. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be great, man, and there's gonna be a lot of my a lot of my family's there. But he's not the only one excited for this moment. It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity, me being able to uh, display my skills on such a big uh, big field like that, a big uh, stage. So I sat down with another Puerto Rican fighter, Matthew Gonzalez, who, like Ochoa, will be competing at the National Puerto Rican Weekend Boxing Card at the King's Theater. There's gonna be thousands of people there. Uh, you know, of course, you know, we're gonna have to bring a big Latin crowd. I always bring a big crowd. Puerto Ricans, uh, we have a big, big impact in the sport of boxing. You know, our background is remarkable, everything that we accomplished in the sport. For being such a small island, everything we accomplished, so it means a lot, you know, coming from that background. The 23-year-old Ridgewood, Queens resident is one of the premier prospects in the sport, and he recognizes that Puerto Rico's impact is unparalleled. The island has produced the most world champions per capita and over 60 different male and female titleists. In the birthplace of hip-hop, an even younger rising star is training to headline the main event. The most important thing for me as of right now, man, because Obviously, you know, all the other Puerto Rican great champions done it, you know what I mean? Miguel Cotto, Trinidad. So it's like for me to be headlining my own card as the main event is a blessing. As the boxers train intensely for their upcoming matches, those in their corners understand the stakes are high. So my thing was now I got to make sure he don't get hurt. You know what I mean? So I asked him to box a little bit. He wanted to sit there and walk him down, but I saw the power wasn't there. This kid was a lot stronger too. So I asked him to box a move for me. At least... Worst case scenario, we're losing on a decision. You know, I didn't, he's too young to be getting knocked out. Kelly Richardson, who has been Ochoa's trainer since the fighter was 14 years old, recalled the Puerto Rican's only pro loss from over a year ago. Jenny Badillo, a USA boxing coach and owner of the International Boxing and Fitness Club in Ridgewood, New York, is also Gonzalez's fiance and will be back in his corner on fight night. It's a violent sport. You know, so it's, uh, you guys see all the glitz and glam. Right? But there's a lot of pain and suffering. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, like, you see them when they're bruised up. People don't see them the next day. You know, when they got the black eyes and the bloody nose. So my main concern is safety. You know, I want to make sure that he's okay. This is... All three fighters were victorious in their efforts, each recording their first career win on the celebratory weekend. I always put the flag on me, but I always put on a small patch. I always wear the nicest trunks, flashiest trunks. But being that it was Puerto Rican Parade weekend, I had to come up with a flag. But you see, my flag's not a regular flag. I got the details. It's cut like a real flag, and it's all sequenced out. So, you know, I basically, you know, I outdid the regular flag. I felt the adrenaline. I was hype. I wanted to catch a first-round knockout. I wanted to... So I was just holding my shots too much and said, let my, gun go, my guns go. When I let my guns go, they look good, they look great. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do anything special in there. He just brung a good fight, which was something I really needed. So, and I want to thank him for that. Tough motherfucker. First and foremost, you know, my Lord and Savior, he gives me the strength, you know. And I ask him for the strength and to withhold everything, you know, that, that's coming, you know, my way. Especially with the crowd and the people coming, you know. And um, I, had, I held everything under control pretty good, you know. And with myself mentally, too. Happy. Fans, fighters, and organizers felt like the event was a success, and they hope that it's something that will continue here at the King's Theater, honoring Puerto Rican heritage and boxing culture. That's something that we've always been able to, you know, own. 
for ourselves, you know, what do we do? We, we box and baseball, you know, everyone.